Well, there have been a lot of changes over the years since I started, uh, you know, computers, cell phones, um, you know, I mean, it's just incredible how it's changed over the years. We used to have to wait every other Thursday for the books, <laughs> waiting for the books. But now um, the advantage is that things are moving faster. The disadvantage is that things are moving faster and you have to stay on top of everything. Um, one thing, uh, our time is so valuable now and it's important that we vet these prospective buyers and sellers uh, because you know, there's a lot of fakes and freaks out there. I tell all my agents, make sure you have your own fakes and freaks file, and it will start to fill, especially as you move up the food chain uh, with buyers and sellers. The more expensive the properties that they're looking for, um, you know, the, the more strange requests we have. Um, one thing that I do is I try to do a little background check as best as I can on someone before I'm going to meet with them. Uh, I will Google them just to find out if any of the facts are the same. Um, another thing is with the demographics, we're finding that when we're working with the younger generations, it's really interesting to note how differently they want to interact with us. And you know, years ago, you had to have a four-door car. Your clients got in the car with their screaming, yelling kid, throwing food all over the place. Um, now, they don't want to even get in your car. I had a younger couple who I was working with a few years ago. And we, got, uh, we met, and I said, well, come on in my car. And they said, no, we'll just follow you. And I said, oh, OK, well, I can, I can get in your car. And they said, well, now we brought our dogs. And I said, oh, well, I love dogs. And they said, and no, we'll just follow you. So note to self, they really didn't want to be in the same car with the realtor. So we get to the first house and I handed them their list of properties for the day. And the wife said, I don't want these papers. I said, oh, okay. So I'd been showing them houses for a while and outside the last house, she was looking, you know, at her iPad and trying to figure something out you know, looking, looking, and I said to her, is there something wrong? Can I help you? And she said, well, I'm just looking to see if there are any high tension wires around here. And I said, well, I mean, can't we just look? And so that taught me that, you know, people become very, very dependent upon their technology and all they want from us is the information. That's all they want. And so for us, we have to be able to take all the information available, be able to condense it and explain it to them. They don't want our, our opinions. They don't care if we think that a house on a corner is worth more than a house in the middle of the block or less. They don't care. They just want the information. And so I've learned uh, a lot about working with, with a different generations of buyers.